Do you want to record a podcast or YouTube video outdoors? This is the video for you. In this video, I'm going to show you what tools and what software you need to make this possible. All right, let's get started. Recently, I've been lucky enough to produce so many podcasts for the city of Miami Gardens. I got to partner up with CoSpace located in Miami Gardens. And I think for the past three weekends, I've been able to produce 50 or so podcasts outdoors. And it's it's been great. While producing outdoors, I pretty much learned that there are four categories that you have to consider if you want to do a podcast or video. First category is video, then audio, software, and finally power. For the video aspect of this setup, I use three cameras. I have two Sony A7Cs and one Sony A7 IV. I chose those cameras not because they're popular, not because they're cool. I honestly chose them because they're the right cameras for the job and they have an ability to be powered with a USB-C battery bank. And since we're outdoors, that's a great ability. And I'm gonna get into that a little bit later and I'll share with y'all what battery I use to make that possible. As far as lenses, I use two 50 millimeter lens on my Sony a7C and on my a7 IV, I use a 16 to 35 millimeter F4 lens. And that gives me like a wide shot and 50 millimeters, a pretty tight shot. That's the lens that I use to capture the subjects. For the video switching, I use the A10 Mini Extreme ISO. It's a eight HDMI input device. And each of the cameras have a HDMI cable plugged in to them and then the ends go right into the A10 Mini Extreme ISO, and I'm able to switch the camera angles. As far as lighting, I use the Godox VL150. It's a really bright light, and again, like the cameras, it has an amazing ability to be powered with a battery, and I'll get into the battery portion of that, of that light in the power section of this list. All right, now for audio, I use the Rodecaster Pro 2, with two Shure SM7B microphones, and those microphones are being held by the Elgato low profile arms. They look great. I'm able to hide the XLR cables, so they look really neat. So, all right, let's move on to software. I'm using Ecamm Live to capture the audio and video. And what the beautiful thing about Ecamm Live is that I'm able to sync the audio and the videos together, so I'm not doing anything else. As soon as I hit record, I'm able to record the video and audio, sync them together. And if the client or the person recording their po podcast wants to video right then and there, I'm able to just airdrop it to them right on from my computer. All right, so I'm editing here and I realized that I went over Ecamm Live a little too quickly. And I wanted to let y'all know that Ecamm Live is very, very powerful and it kind of deserves a video on its own. Ecamm Live can do a lot. Um, you can go live simultaneously on Facebook, uh, LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube, all from one account. You can do so many different things. And for this particular setup, I use Ecamm Live to just record the signals from my camera and the audio signals from my microphone and send it off to a SSD hard drive. That way, uh, the clients are able to get the video right then and there and I can airdrop it to them. It's it's very quick and very easy, but Ecamm Live is massively powerful. And I just want to let y'all know that. So if y'all want me to do a uh, one video overview review over Ecamm Live and what you're able to do with it, comment down below, say do the Ecamm video and we'll get it started. All right. All right. Let's continue the video. All right. Last thing. Let's talk about power. As far as powering my cameras, I have one camera being powered by a V-mount battery. The other two are being powered by an Anchor battery bank. Now, the Anchor battery bank has a USB-C plug that I can just plug the end into the camera and power my cameras as long as I want. Um, the Rodecaster Pro, which captures the audio, also has the ability to be powered by my Anchor battery bank. My A10 Mini Extreme ISO also has the ability to be powered by my anchor battery bank. And if I plug in two cameras, uh, my A10 Mini Extreme ISO and my Rodecaster Pro, I'm able to get up to uh, 2.5 to three hours of battery life. And I think that's, that's pretty good. Now, as far as 
lighting goes, I also can power my Godox VL150 with a V-mount battery. And if I set the light to 50% power, I'm able to get around five hours of lighting. Now, if I crank that thing all the way up to 100%, I'll probably get maybe an hour. And don't worry about the software. There's also a way to do ex everything that I'm doing without a computer. You can quite literally not use a computer and record your podcast or YouTube video. And um, check out my Patreon um, for that. Just click the link in the description and get on there and check out the video. All right, y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed this quick tip. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.